Hello and welcome to the full moon edition of the Vedic Lunar Scope for the full moon in Jaishta Nakshatra, which takes place on the 29th of May at approximately 3.19 p.m. Uh, London time. If you want to know what time that is in your own particular time zone, uh, please uh, do look that up online. So you may find yourself with this particular full moon asking yourself, how long can a particular struggle go on? Right? Well, that, I'm afraid that the answer to that is it can go on as long as you're not in a space where you're able to recognize the nature of the struggle that you're in fully. And is that any fault of your own? Well, maybe partially um, if you're resisting to face the truth of a difficult situation, um, but maybe not. Right, because sometimes we just find ourselves in a position where we have to just kind of naturally work through our own individual processes. We may very much have the desire to look at a situation. We may very much have the desire to understand just what the hell's going on with it. And we just may be in a position where we're just not quite ready to understand that truth. Um, but if it's more of an acceptance related factor, there is at least something that you can do about that. The problem is, is that doing that something can be somewhat of a humbling experience because it may mean that you have to accept something that perhaps you're not that willing to accept. Uh, perhaps that one thing that you feel that you have to accept just doesn't really seem like it's that wise of a choice. It doesn't really seem like it's that great of a decision right? And you have a couple of choices here. Number one, actually, you've got a few different choices. Number one, you can just go, okay, well, you know, I'm going to accept that even though this isn't the uh, best choice, at least it's a choice. It's a step in the right direction. And make that decision. Commit yourself to that particular path. That's one particular option. Another option is to go, I'm just going to wait until a better opportunity comes along. And then there's the third path, which is probably the best path of them all, which is to accept that what you've got right now may not seem like the best option you have, but it's what you've got to work with. And because it's what you've got to work with, you have to at least start some forward motion down that particular path. And perhaps through starting that uh, forward motion down that particular path, you're allowing an opportunity uh, for, men for momentum, momentum, for momentum, that's hard to say for some reason, uh, for momentum to be gained in a particular direction. Um, maybe through starting down that road that seems like, you know what, I don't want to do that. You begin to see somewhere along the way something that is an option something that does seem to make a greater level of sense. Now, part of the problem is, is one part of you is reticent about these changes. One part of you just feels like, you know what? I could take a very big radical step right now and start some wheels in motion that would really just kind of purify this situation of all this damn difficulty that I've been dealing with for the last several weeks. And you could do that, but quite likely you're finding yourself in a position where you're getting on the brink of that, and then you're going, nah, I'm just going to kind of pull back and hold back, right? But here's the thing. With Jaishta Nakshatra, the more you resist, the more the battle builds. The more you battle a situation, the deeper the level of intensity um, that you're dealing with. Because Jaishta Nakshatra really wants to teach us how to see a situation correctly, right? How to not let our fears, how to not let our desires, how to not let those things interfere with our capacity to see a situation in a crystal clear manner. Now, as I said at the beginning, you may have every desire to do that. That's good, 
that's good. Hold on to that space and just trust that by being willing to see that eventually it will be revealed to you. But where you may be somewhat going, no, it has to be my way or the highway, that's where perhaps you might need to take another look, right? That's where perhaps you may need to be kind of um, nurturing different ideas, setting different wheels in motion, even if it is somewhat of a humbling experience for you to do so. It's only through that level of humility that we open ourselves up to receive a greater level of wisdom. If we're resisting that wisdom, there's no way in hell we're going to be able to see anything clearly at all. And to think that you are going to be able to see anything clearly when you're resisting the truth is, I just want to say, it's sheer stupidity. So if you're willing, keep that energy moving. If you're not willing, take a look at something that you might not want to take a look at. Now, if you're having a difficult situation, and hey, let's face it, this particular video is about a difficult situation, so you're probably having a difficult situation. Um, but if you need a little bit of assistance with that situation, or anything else in general, I do offer several different levels of astrological service, all of which are available through the astrological services page of my website. If you'd like to visit that page and potentially schedule a service with me, the link to it is above in this video. That's going to do it for your Vedic Lunar Scope for the full moon in Jaishta Nakshatra on the 29th of May, 2018. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now.